Hi everyone, today is a huge day. I'm excited to announce that Lossless Scaling is now available on any device running SteamOS through the new Decky Store plugin, Decky LSFGVK. This plugin lets us use frame generation in a wide range of Steam titles and emulators, giving us higher performance with a simple in-game flyout menu where you can adjust the multiplier to two, three, or four times FPS on the fly. And in this video, we're going to quickly install the plugin on the Steam Deck and try it out in a few games to see how it performs. But before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to all of you who have supported this project since its initial release earlier this year. If you've downloaded the app, made a video, written a guide, created coverage, or shared your experience online, I'm very grateful. And I hope the plugin brings you all a ton of enjoyment for many years to come. Of course, none of this would have been possible without two incredible people Pancake Tass, who completely rewrote Lost the Scaling into LSFGVK to make it work on Linux, and Kurt Heimbork, aka Jason Derulo, who created the Decky plugin to make this technology so easy to use in SteamOS gaming mode. Now, if you have a Steam Deck, ROG Ally, Legion Go, Steam Machine, or any other device running SteamOS, then you will need to purchase Lost the Scaling from the Steam Store for the plugin to work. The app itself is only $7, and once purchased, can be used with this plugin on Linux or standalone in Windows. Link to purchase in the description. Once we have lost the scaling downloaded, we want to press the Steam button, go down to Settings, System, and make sure that SteamOS is updated to the latest version. And afterwards, we can press the Steam button again, choose Power, and switch to Desktop Mode. And from Desktop Mode, we simply want to open our web browser, go to the official Decky Loader website, download Decky to our Downloads folder, and once that's completed, let's go to our Downloads folder, run the installer, and here we may be prompted to enter our SteamOS pseudo password. So if you haven't set one of these already, let's set one quickly by going to System Settings on our taskbar, scrolling down to Users, selecting Change Password, and setting this to something easy to remember. Once your password is set, let's go back to the Decky installer, enter our password, and choose the Release branch, and press OK. And after a moment, the install will be complete and we can just close the window and return to gaming mode. And back in SteamOS gaming mode, we can press our quick settings menu button to bring up the right flyout menu, go down to the new plug icon at the bottom for Decky, and at the top right, we can select the store icon to access the store, and from the list of plugins available, find Decky LSFGVK, choose install, and once the installation is complete, we'll see Decky LSFGVK appear in our Decky plugins menu, where we want to press Install LSFGVK to activate the plugin. This will only work if you've already purchased and installed Lost the Scaling from Steam. So once the plugin is activated, we want to quickly restart our Steam Deck and return to the plugin. Once we're back, we'll see a wealth of options available to us, and I'll go over just a few that I use here today. At the very top, we have our FPS multiplier, which we can adjust anywhere from two, three, or four times FPS. I like to keep this at two times for the most part, but if you want to go higher, try it out, but you'll likely experience higher input latency compared to two times, depending on your game's base frame rate. We have the profiles feature, which we can set and use for individual titles, a flow scale meter to adjust the internal motion resolution of our games. By default, this is set to 80%, but we can go higher or lower and see what kind of experience we get. We have a base FPS cap limiter that we need to set before running our games for it to apply. But if you don't want an FPS cap, just leave this off. By default, I recommend keeping present mode toggled on to FIFO first in first out VSync. And for all of our other settings and workarounds, if you'd like to learn more, I have another video in the description which explains these in further detail, alongside the GitHub for further reading, and we have a community discord for the plugin listed in the description. So what we're going to do now for each of our games is go to the bottom of the plugin, choose the copy launch option, and I'm going to find God of War Ragnarok, Cyberpunk, Spider-Man Remastered, and Elden Ring. Choosing the setting symbol for each of these, properties, and going down to launch commands, where I'll just simply bring up the Steam keyboard by tapping and choosing paste to enter our LSFG command. Now once we're in God of War Ragnarok with medium low settings, I can press the quick access menu button open the Decky plugin and choose 2 times FPS, where because I'm on a 60Hz docked direct capture display, I'll go from 40 to 60 FPS, and if you have a higher refresh rate display, then this will go higher. Overall, the experience is very good, 
and the game feels smooth and enjoyable to play with minimal input latency. And I can perform the movements in combat perfectly fine. In Spider-Man Remastered, we'll do the same. Medium settings, open our quick settings for the plugin, choose two times, and now the game runs at a solid 60 FPS. I've tested this one many times and it's a personal favourite and runs a lot better compared to Spider-Man 2. Third, let's try out Elden Ring again on medium settings, 2 times FPS, 80% flow scale, and we can move up from 30 to 35 to 60 FPS in the open world on horseback. When it comes to combat with bosses, we may need to account for extra reaction times with enemies, but player sensitivities are different. So if you try any Souls games with loss of scaling, like Lies of P, Wu Chang, or Sekiro, let us know in the comments how it's been. And lastly, with Cyberpunk, I'm getting around 40 to 45 FPS in this area, and when I choose two times, we'll see, docked, I go to a solid 60 FPS. But I would recommend perhaps capping to 30 FPS before applying loss of scaling, just so that the input lag might be reduced on a 60 Hz display. But everyone is different, and I prefer letting it run around on the Steam Deck OLED between 60 to 80 FPS in handheld mode. Now when it comes to input latency, everyone's sensitivity is different. If you're used to playing at 300 FPS on a high-end PC and then try loss of scaling on a device like the Steam Deck, your experience will naturally feel very different compared to someone who regularly games at 30 to 60 FPS. Try to keep that in mind and make sure that you test loss of scaling across multiple titles. During development and testing, we've seen a lot of players jump into loss of scaling with overly high expectations, with extremely demanding games like Monster Hunter Wilds on the Steam Deck. I've tried it myself for fun, the game barely hits 20 FPS on the lowest settings because of how heavy it is. But then crank the frame generation to two or three times, see the game jump to 40 FPS with heavy input lag, and then immediately write the app off without ever trying it on other titles that are actually suitable. So if you're new to loss of scaling or frame generation, take your time, test different games. Yes, input lag can happen, but frame generation has never been a one size fits all solution and never will be. For example, I have a friend who completed Alan Wake 2 on the Steam Deck using two times frame generation to hit close to 60 FPS and he said he had a great time. It really depends on the game and what you're comfortable with. So I hope this video was informative, helpful, and got you started with loss of scaling with Deki LSF GVK on your SteamOS device. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and we can all try to help one another. We have the Deki LSF GVK Discord server with lots of information and discussions available, as well as a helpful and welcoming community where you can ask questions and get help whenever someone is next available. So please feel free to join, share your experience, and provide feedback. And again, let's give a massive thank you to Pancake Tass and Kurt Heimborg, aka Jason Derulo, for their amazing work. I have left links to both of their GitHubs in the description if you wish to support their work through a donation or to learn more regarding each of their projects. So if you enjoyed this video, learned something new today, and would like to see more content like this, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share this video with others. Thank you all for your time. Have a great rest of your day. Look out for one another and I'll see you later.